y'all. Um, I was having a conversation earlier today about how we change the diaper of our wiggly, squiggly little baby. So I'm gonna show you what I've always done. So first I have my wiggly, squiggly, big baby. So let's say he's grown a little bit. So my newborn's grown, his little parents' his teacher's shirt. So I'm gonna point the camera down so y'all can see what I'm doing here. All right, so I am sitting on a blanket and I am gonna change my child right here. Maybe I'll ask my toddler to bring me what I need. So I have my diaper, let's say I have some wipes, that kind of thing. I'm gonna take my wiggly squiggly one and just lay them there. Now, you notice I don't have shoes on. My feet are pretty clean. See, pretty clean. You wanna make sure you have clean feet. Now, this little guy wants to squiggle and wiggle and move all over. I'm going to take my feet very gently and just hold down their shoulders so that then I can change their diaper. Now, most of the kids are a little bigger than this, right? This is, I would not do this with a newborn, but once they get a little bigger and they just wanna be wiggly and squiggly, this is what I'm gonna do. And as you can see, the weight of my foot is not even really on them. I'm not putting my foot on the child or anything. I'm just using my feet as appendages, right? Um, and then I can hold them up. And so what I'm doing is I'm stopping their arms from reaching down and grabbing the poop and I am stopping them from rolling away from me because to try to do this one-handed and hold them down or try to do this while they're rolling all over and they're fighting me is gonna be really hard. So this is at the age where they're kind of big enough to pick their legs up for you and you can kind of put them down and then you can diaper them like that. And like I said, you can see that my foot is barely on it like this. This is like a little, a uh, cloth arm and it is barely going down. I'm not pinning them down. I'm just kind of holding them gently in place so that I can then change their diaper nicely and happily. Um, takes a little adaptability with your feet to be able to do that. I would never do it with shoes on. Um, oftentimes if I have socks on, maybe I would take my socks off so that my feet are cleaner. Um, you know, like I said, I'm not pressing down hard or anything. I'm just kind of using it to just kind of hold, hold their arms in place. Um, we are not abusing any children here. We're just holding their little shoulders in place. They can still wiggle a little bit, but I can talk to them and sing to them and get their attention. And then I can change that diaper a heck of a lot faster. So that's what I've always done. And like I said, we're not abusing our babies. We're not pinning them down with our feet. We're not stepping on them. We are just very, very gently using our toes um, to hold their shoulders in place so we can change their wiggly squigglies um, and keep them clean and healthy. Uh, you can also get diapers and do standing changes um, when they get a little bigger and they wanna do that. So those are all different fun ways. All right, enjoy.